What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 17.4 beta 2 for registered developers and soon for public beta testers. Now along with this iOS release, Apple also released iPadOS 17.4 beta 2, watchOS 10.4 beta 2, macOS Sonoma 14.4 beta 2, tvOS 17.4 beta 2, and the first ever visionOS beta, visionOS 1.1 beta one for the new Apple Vision Pro. But of course, in this video, we're mainly talking about iOS and iPadOS, but we will also touch on the Vision OS beta near the end of this video. So anyways, taking a look at the size of the iOS update, it came in just under one gigabyte on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which was coming from beta one. So quite a large update for a beta two here. So let's go and check out the build number for this new update, settings general about, it is 21E. 5195E. So we do still have an E at the end of the build number, which indicates we still have at least a couple of betas to go before the RC release. Now, the first thing you'll notice, and actually before we talk about that, the modem firmware did also get updated slightly to 1.55. 0.01 on the iPhone 15 series. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 17.4 beta 2? And the thing I was just about to get to is at the very bottom here, you will notice that before in 17.4 beta 1, we had that identifiable region option down at the bottom, which was really bugged out. It just showed, you know, kind of placeholder text there, but that has now been removed from the bottom of the about screen. But that's not the only thing Apple removed because if we go to the privacy and security section, you'll notice that the contactless and NFC option that was there in beta one, it was kind of a mysterious addition because it didn't really add anything. If you tap on it, nothing happens. It doesn't show any content in there, but that has been removed here in beta two. Now also something has been added. So you can see down at the bottom now, we have pass keys access for web browsers. So that is new. And if you tap on that, nothing happens, but it does say applications that have requested the ability to see which websites and apps you have saved pass keys for. So I guess I don't have anything saved there, but that is a new option in 17.4 beta two. And actually it looks like Apple updated a support document today that references this change to security keys. And it says to sign in to iCloud for Windows after you set up security keys, you need iCloud for Windows 15 or later. So I guess the fact that Apple ID security keys now support iCloud for Windows might have something to do with the pass keys access for web browsers option that is new here in 17.4 beta 2. Apple also added a new widget for this update. So if you head into your widget screen and go to the clock, so we're going to go to clock right here, and you'll notice that if we swipe over, we have a brand new city digital clock widget. So it says add a clock for a city to check the time at that location. So before we only had this city and the just basic city one. So this one was relatively new. This one was added in a previous update, but now we have the city digital version. And here is what that looks like on my screen. And it shows NYC, but you can change that. If you tap and hold, you can change it to whatever city you would like. And it shows, you know, a little acronym or a little abbreviation above the time. Now, one of the new features in iOS 17.4 is podcast transcriptions. So you can now see transcriptions for a podcast, basically like lyrics for music, and it follows along with them. But I noticed some changes here in 17.4 beta two. So first off, it looks to be more accurate now. So you can see in beta one, it like completely got rid of this whole paragraph that I'm seeing right here. It's fascinating to me. You can see that doesn't even show right here on beta one. And you're gonna have to look really close, but it looks like the font might be increased by like one point. It's very, you know, minor. You might not notice it at first glance, but I noticed that something was off and it looks like the text is a little bit larger here. And one thing I hope Apple fixes with the next beta update is when you tap on search, you'll notice that we have that really janky animation there every time you press on it. And this update also brings a couple of new splash screens. So we have this new splash screen for the app store and it says a safe and trusted place. Notice how Apple did that there because of the whole, you know, sideloading thing that's going on with 17.4. So as a safe and trusted place to discover amazing apps and games, and you can read the rest. So that is new for the app store. And then we also have a new splash screen for Apple music. So it doesn't really tell us about anything new. It doesn't even mention the collaborative playlists, but that did pop up 
on beta 2. There's also a new Siri compatibility mode. So this was found in the code by Aaron P613. And it says, turn this on if you experience problems with microphone input in this car. But I did not see anything new in the Siri and search section and settings. However, one thing I noticed that is changed in the Siri and search settings is if we go to messaging with Siri, there is a new feature here called read messages where you can add a language to have Siri read your messages in a different language. That was there in beta one, but in beta two, if you go to add language, you will notice that there are some changes here to the order. Also Arabic does not say Saudi Arabia in parentheses anymore. And you could just see multiple changes to the order. And also it looked like, you know, China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan are separated in beta one, but they are not here in beta two. They're up at the top. Now, one of the main bugs in iOS 17.4 beta one was with stickers missing or just not showing up in the interface down here. So beta one is on the left and you can see beta two on the right that has been fixed. Those stickers now appear in the interface. You could click on them before, but they just would not show up, but now they show up. And then if we take a look at the release notes, we have a couple of changes here as well. So there's a new known issue for shared iPad. So it says users might be greeted with a loading screen in the files app immediately after login on a shared iPad. And the fix for that is to just relaunch the files app. And then we also have two fixes here related to the SK ad network and also fix an issue causing some approved as to buy purchases to fail. But everything else mentioned in the release notes is exactly the same as the beta one release notes. Now, as far as the performance and the battery life goes, performance feels really good so far on beta two. So it's not been very long. It's only been about an hour since I've had it installed. So it's too early to say if it's better than beta one or not. But I did go ahead and run a Geekbench score and we scored a pretty solid 2949 on the single core and a 7293 on the multi core. So that is solid. It was lower than and what we saw on beta one, which this is a test I ran, you know, a week after beta one was released. So, you know, a lot of things in the background had already been resolved, but it is only slightly lower than what we saw in beta one. But overall, I would expect very similar performance compared to what we saw in beta one. Now, when it comes to the battery life, battery life, I would also expect to be very similar to beta one and beta one actually had great battery life for me. I really had no complaints with battery life in beta one, and I would expect that to continue here with beta two. All right, so now let's talk about what to expect next from Apple in terms of iOS updates. So we're going to talk about the vision OS update here in a moment. So first off, this update came exactly when we predicted it a while back. So the next update I would expect, it's kind of tough because we could see iOS 17.3.1 before we see 17.4 beta three. And that is my leading prediction right now is that we're going to see 17.3.1 either later this week or early next week, potentially on Monday the 12th, right before we see 17.4 beta three, which I would expect to come next week on Tuesday, February 13th, the day before Valentine's day. And then after that third beta, we should get a fourth beta on the week of the 19th. And then after that fourth beta, I would expect to see the RC on the final week of February, and then a final release for 17.4 on the first full week of March, most likely on March 4th. But of course, Apple could always delay that by another week and maybe go to March 11th. It depends, but I think that we will see it on the week of March 4th. Okay, so I did also want to touch on Vision OS 1.1 beta one because this is the first ever Vision OS beta update for the Apple Vision Pro. And you can see most of the things that are mentioned in here are pretty specific and nothing really stands out to me at least you know i think maybe the only thing has to do with the volume you know interface because it says near user boundary for volumetric scenes have been modified users will now be able to reposition volumetric scenes much closer than before which will enable easier direct interaction with the volumetric scene content and there's a few other resolved issues but honestly most of the things that are mentioned in the release notes are known issues so this update is going to introduce a lot more known issues and a lot of those do have workarounds like where you just have to uninstall and reinstall an application or reboot the device. But there are other issues where, you know, your passcode UI would not be 
hidden in a screen recording. So if you're sharing and you put in your passcode, that will not be hidden with this beta. That is a known issue. And also a known issue that has no workaround is that you might not be able to shut down the Apple Vision Pro from the settings app. So if you have an Apple Vision Pro, feel free to try it out. Just know that there are going to be quite a few known issues, but I would assume that if you have an Apple Vision Pro and you are, you know, on the developer program, you probably are okay with facing some bugs. But I just wanted to mention Vision OS 1.1 beta 1 because it is the first ever Vision OS beta that was released over the air, you know, after the Vision Pro actually released, which is pretty cool. So there you have it. That is iOS 17.4 beta 2 and also a brief update on Vision OS 1.1 beta one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more iOS and vision OS, AKA Apple vision pro videos coming in the future. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.